Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peach Boxing presents the Fighting Irish. We're here at the ABA here in Auckland, New Zealand on the 17th, sorry, the 18th of November. Joined with me, the NZ PBA Super Welterweight Champion, Mr. Business, Shay Brock. Oh, thanks Isaac, always a pleasure to be here. And what an awesome night of fights we've had thus far. Um, we've got four more fights to come and it's high expectations um, after what we've seen so far. Oh look, it's been an action-packed night of fights. Now we've got Thomas the Tank Engine here in the red against Jesse the Maniac Mayo. And I'm loving the names tonight. We've had some classics. Loving it. We've Absolutely loving it. Some beautiful bios. And they've certainly got a sense of humour here tonight, don't they, Shay? You know what? The crowd's turned out tonight. It's a it's a packed stadium here at the ABA. It's tighter than starting in the tin can, mate. It's it is tight. It is super tight. It's like trying to get a marshmallow through a straw. Virtually impossible. It's bursting at the seams. And we've got the tank engine now waiting there in the red corner. His quote is pretty simple. Just drink as normal and go in there and dust the man in front of you. Got to love that saying, right? Drink as normal and go in there and dust the man in front of you. What a classic Irish saying there from the tank classic. engine, Thomas Flynn. It's very vintage um, Irish. Hey, we've got the maniac here now, Jesse. He's a retail manager by day and maniac by night. Following in his father's footsteps. Let's see here if the maniac lives up to his name. You got the surgeon there in the corner. A lot of good fighters there coming out of peak boxing. Ruben Webster, good fighter himself. But heavier than you, Shay? Yeah, he fights at. Um and middleweight, I'll take him on. Calling you out, Ruben. <laughs> and there you have it, Rubux. Rubux. Come no, I've got a lot of history with Ruben. He's a good guy. Um, but yeah. I think you and him would be a beautiful matchup, and I hope to commentate it or commentate on that one day. The maniac in the blue, the tank engine in the red. How do you think it's going to go down between the matchup and? Characteristic styles of the tank engine versus the maniac. Well, wow, tank engine is definitely a tank in himself, isn't he? Oh, which one's the tank engine? The tank engine in red the and the maniac in the blue. Hey, but let's see, you know, sometimes the name does live up to the expectation or almost exceeds yep. it, so let's see that tonight. Is the tank engine going to plow through the maniac? Well, all I saw was blue and I thought tank engine. I was thinking the same thing. He can almost see a little smirk on his face as his name's read out. He laughs at his own name. Oh, I've got to love the sense of humour from these Irish tonight. I love, I love the sense of humour. The high ace. The nickname with his name in his name. And the guy that said he is 31 but feels 30. Here we go, the Maniac versus the Tank Engine. How's it going to go? Is the Maniac going to step through and derail the Tank Engine? Well, I see what you did there. Well, the Maniac's looking more the tank of the two, but I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if the bow goes for round one. 
Wouldn't it be interesting if they had a bit of a role reversal in terms of names? Maniac, look, good guard. Oh, oh big nice right. Over, over, overhand over there. Look, you, bit of a low guard there, just touches the uh, the cut, brings it back up. Big right there from yes. the Maniac. He's obviously been practicing this in the gym. He's already thrown it three or four times. And it goes again. As you said that, throws it out again. But hey, as we've seen... Whoa, a bit of a spin, a bit of a dance. We've got a bit of salsa going on here. <laughs> Big rights again there from the Maniac. I'd like to see him switch it up a little bit. I mean, he, I, he's obviously, he, he's landed it a couple of times, but, you know, you got to put that one in the back pocket for later. You let him let him see something else so that he's not waiting for it. But these, there it goes again. But As you said, that grabs the cup and then goes back in for the right. Coming very, very low there. Look, Trying to get out of the reach there of the tank engine. And it just shows the inexperience of the tank engine as well. He, you know, the only punch he has been throwing is that overhand right, and he's still getting caught from it. Like you said, he should uh, be utilising that reach, that height. He should be sticking to move, sticking to move, but he just keeps walking into the right. Yeah. He's taking the bait. Exactly. Tom certainly got the crowd support. However, the maniac seems to be... The maniac seems quite casual and... After yeah. every exchange, he's yeah. just <laughs> sort of like... <laughs> I was okay. thinking the same thing. He, he throws in the sun, does a little breather, a little shuffle, grabs his cup and then comes back in. Yeah. Hard, hard or easy one to judge, depending on what you're looking for. I feel the main hit was the aggressor. Only, well, it, only round one, though. Yeah. He was, I, I, I guess he was quite dominant in that round. I mean, putting into perspective um, how the round went. Getting around from round two now. Now, I wonder if the Maniacs had a word or was spoken to about relaxing so much after he throws that. Look at Peach there saying, hey, when you throw, throw again. Don't relax. Either that or, hey, change it up. You know, don't always throw the same punch. You know, you never know. But he definitely had something to say um, in between that round. But the tank engine looking like he's ready to go. He doesn't look too gassed out at all. But we'll see how we go for round two. The Let's Maniac coming we, out strong. Let's see how he adapts to that last round. The Maniac coming out a little bit stronger. Showing a bit of matrix. Feet going off the ground there as the tank engine gets derailed and thrown into the ropes. A bit more of a push than a punch. Definitely not yeah. a, a knockdown punch there from the Maniac. Just as I said that, a huge right overhand caught the tank engine flush in the head. I'd like to see the tank engine just a little bit more tighter. He's got both hands out, leaving himself exposed to that overhand right, oh, and everything else that's coming from the Maniac as well. The Maniac the, in the blue, tank engine in the, uh, in the red. The tank engine has reached his crossroads as he comes against the Maniac here tonight. The Maniac pushing him away, not putting up with a bar of it, as he comes forward again with the looping right hook and relaxes after the punch. Love to see him follow up a few more. Maybe a, a, a right, a left, a right, a left. Maybe three more after that to yeah. finish yeah. the tank engine. Just anything to follow it up. And a little bit of, a little bit of balance. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to um, set another attack when you're, when you're not set yourself. If you didn't set. Ten second clap up for round two. At times we see the taller fighters take advantage of that, or we see the shorter fighter come through with aggression. And we're certainly seeing that here from the Maniac tonight. And he sets up a punch and then sort of floats back into his corner. Looked like he set that one up, but uh, I'm not sure if he did, Shay. What, what are your thoughts on that one? Yes, yeah, similar to what, what we saw in the first round. I mean, the Maniac obviously coming forward. Um, to the credit of um, Thomas the Tank Engine, he, he is defending a lot better this round um, and landing a few more of his own shots, but um, at that moment, it's all, all um, going the Maniac's way. You know, for those watching or even through the frustration of the corner, the Tank Engine has everything in the toolbox to beat the Maniac, but the Maniac comes through with pure aggression, finding a home for those rights and we're going to see what happens in the third and final. And, and, you know, it's all on the night. You know, how 
look at look at this crowd that we have at, at the moment and how that affects the fighters or the, the game plan just goes through one one ear and out the other as we said earlier and quoted famously from Mike Tyson Ooh. everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face we saw that earlier with the lion tamer and just there we saw the maniac drop his head trying to come over the shot uh, underneath the shots and got caught as he came in but it just comes straight, just comes straight forward this looks like something out of once were warriors when the wrong song was played on the jukebox <laughs> the maniac coming forward but does he, has, he, has he done his speed work though <laughs> too much that's the question Wait, and not enough speed work the tank engine is, is getting pummeled here by the maniac and that, that's exactly what um, Thomas the Tank Engine needs to do. Keep him long. Leave that jab out right on the end of his range. But he's just he's, he's letting the Maniac come in and he's just diving in, which is making it even easier for him to get, to get his target. And like we said earlier, we, we, at times we see a, the taller fighter utilise the height or get suckered in and get, get pummeled by the shorter fighter because the shorter fighters always have to be a bit more yeah. aggressive. And we alluded to it, um, earlier, it could be the ego, you know, the ego of the fighters. You just want to fight. You don't, you know, the game plan goes out the window, especially when your friends and family are watching. You just want to impress them and show them, you know, how, how, how tough you are, how strong you are, when it could be, when it could jeopardise your game plan. So right 100%. here, is that, that's, where, that's where Thomas the Tank Engine wants to be, nice and long. Whoa, and Man, the tank engine the coming forward. Putting the pressure back on the Maniac. Was it a little bit too much, too late? We'll soon find out. You never know what the judges scores tonight, but yeah. the Maniac certainly looks strong in that fight. Perhaps a little, little too late, leaving it right to the end of the round. Both boys are knackered. They've worked hard. It's a tight I, fight. I bet, though, Shay, you've gone into fights and everything you've been trained and taught for the last three months you finish the fight and think what? I didn't actually put in the plan or, or throw anything that we drew absolutely the absolutely fight. I haven't I haven't come out of a fight saying hey that was a perfect that was perfect I stuck to the game plan the whole way um, with the exception of maybe one or two but it, it, it's few and far between once once you get in the ring everything changes you know you, all of a sudden the target's moving they're doing things that you, you didn't see in the video so it, everything changes you know your opponent's adapting to you as well so those shots aren't popping like they do on the pads when you're fighting a human exactly. being right ladies and gentlemen we have a split decision and the split. just as we called it before we said we're seeing those splits now we see a split from the maniac the maniac almost splitting the head of the tank engine tonight but i still see a lot of potential with the tank engine Suddenly put up a good fight and had everything in the in the school in the skill set and toolbox to win. Definitely. <laughs> the maniac saying he'll shout everyone a beer. I think he's gonna be bankrupt if he does that for the Irishman. Well, I think they're going to have to share the one, and no one's going to be happy about that. Can you imagine shouting an Irish Sharing is room not caring full when of it drunks. comes to Guinness. You'd need more than a million dollars to get these guys well, over what the would line. The, what would the bar tab be? I'd imagine. I'd say, I don't know if there's enough alcohol in this room or, or the back, back, back cellar or um, a truck behind us. Regardless, another awesome fight. Um, and a few more to come. Look, um, the tank engine's um, gone away on his um, on his journey, okay, and the maniac's victorious. Away. Next up, we've got three more fights, two pros, one more before the big one. Big two, I should say. Celtic.